what is up gang welcome back once again to the channel and thank you so very much for all of your support we are closing in on 10,000 subscriptions which is super exciting and i can't thank you all enough for supporting this channel supporting me supporting brian supporting everyone uh, who's been out here doing great work on behalf of johnny and everything that's going on with the crazy press and all that stuff so once again i am here with sort of a short video uh on the live stream the other day we were talking about this story where Amber talks about being kidnapped in this interview and sort of having a chuckle about it. And a bunch of people said that they had never heard this story before. So I have the interview here for you. I'm going to read it down real quick so you can get an idea of what we were talking about. And then I will post this snippet on Twitter so everyone can have it. So let's just jump in here. Last year was a whirlwind for Amber Heard. After Zombieland, the actress who turns 24 this month flew to South America to film and soon the darkness in which she earns her first credit as a producer. And then she went on location for The Rum Diary with Johnny Depp, as well as the John Carpenter horror flick, The Ward. After living out of two suitcases for over a year, the Texas native is finally back home, outside of a deli in a picturesque retail district nestled in the flatlands of bustling Los Angeles. Heard is parking her old-school black vintage cruiser, complete with a wicker basket to transport her pint-sized Yorkie. She radiates with undeniable star quality, and the world is catching on. Dressed in a long black skirt with her blonde hair thrown in, into an effortless ponytail, the Texas-bred actress appears girly and delicate, but looks can be deceiving. Heard is no softy. The bracelet she wears around her wrist is engraved with words that denote a certain strength of character. Tomorrow is another day. Heard is resilient. Crazy things have happened to her within the past few months. She's had her hotel room broken into, personal belongings stolen, and someone rummaged through her trailer. According to Heard, she's been picked up in Eastern Europe, arrested, kidnapped, and mugged. She's also been held at knife point by a cab driver for the contents of her purse in the middle of Santiago, Chile. Not one to take things lying down, Heard retaliated in high heels and all. And none of this happened in a movie. Not quite sure about that. When I did realize we were headed nowhere, I started asking questions, says Heard. With each question, the driver became visibly agitated, eventually pulling a big hunting knife on Heard and a friend. How they managed to get out of the situation still surprises the actress. We survived and somehow managed to win by fighting and the commotion caused our attacker to lose focus, she explains. As neighboring homes in the distance began turning on their lights, the cab driver fled empty-handed, leaving the women stranded without any means of communication. Quick to recover from what some may call a scarring experience, Heard made it back to her hotel that night in time to have a drink at the bar. Amazing. Incredible. I mean, how does all this happen? What, what, a, what a movie scene. Needless to say, life on the road for Heard has been both chaotic and exciting. But despite a rather grueling schedule, home was never far from her mind. She spent the free time she did have scouring markets and shops for things to decorate her house. In South America, I bought these beautiful handmade rugs. They're all handwoven and dyed, Heard says. I found some really amazing pieces from unknown sketch artists on the street. At Heard's home, sweet home, in Los Angeles, she relishes life's simple pleasures. The thought of spending time in the kitchen, her favorite room in the house, excites and inspires her. I love to cook. When I'm away, I miss my pots and pans and my spices. Yes, she misses throwing them at Johnny. Heard says, smiling. I take a lot of pride in the spices I pick out. Crazy, random, specific spices from all over the world that I buy in Little Tokyo and markets in L.A. Another unpretentious luxury? Doing her own laundry. One of the things she misses doing most when she's away. It's such a luxury to be able to pick my own fabric softener. Being home is the exotic part of my life. The Lone, Star, the Lone Star State native doesn't believe in taking fame to the extreme. Hmm. You'll never find the actress tweeting about going to the dentist or her trip to the mall. Huh. There's a line between being an artist and being a celebrity, she says. Whether you're a famous photographer, artist, or you're an actor or director, it's no longer about your job. It's about being a celebrity. And somehow that's your job. And I hate that idea. Acknowledging that fame creates the ability to market to the masses, the actress believes it all comes with a certain level of responsibility. As a public figure, she knows she has the opportunity to influence. I would never market a product I didn't believe in or use myself, says Heard. I think it's a little unfair. Ironically, her next film, The Joneses, 
is about just that. Starring alongside David Duchovny and Demi Moore, Heard plays the daughter in a faux family assembled by a marketing company to push high-end products. Together, they infiltrate tiny towns and push lux goods on unsuspecting customers. It's a really smart social commentary about the juxtaposition of the American dream versus the reality and the heart behind it, she says. In an oversaturated market, Herd's MO is to steer away from things that might cheapen her craft. I choose projects that will intrigue or challenge. I enjoy being an actress. I want to work forever, says Herd. Everything in moderation. It's an important thing to keep in mind. So that is that. Very interesting little quotes there. Uh, at the end of everything that we've seen over the last few years, that really kind of puts a lot into perspective. And of course, we have our perpetual damsel in distress, just magically getting herself out of so many dangerous and life-threatening situations to make it home in time to get to the bar. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That is it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little short video. Like I said, I'll post this little blurb over on Twitter so you guys can have it and check it out. Thank you once again for all the support. It is immense and it means so, so much to me. I just appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We're so close to 10K, as I said. And I will see you guys in the next one.